So is it true some of your seasons hasn't gone to plan just like mine hasn't? Maybe this video will give you a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of insight into how a bad season can turn into a positive from a negative and next season can be twice as good. Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So I hope you enjoyed that clip. I must admit, it was fun filming it, putting it together, put my own little spin on my little YouTube channel. So the goal with this channel is obviously to make it more of an enjoyable, um, an enjoyable watch for you guys. So when you're sat relaxing, watching the videos, I hope uh, the efforts are not gone unnoticed and I hope you really enjoy what I'm trying to put together. So we move on to the subject of a bad season. Um, I think a bad season can then result in uh, a better season the following season. So let's not look at what we didn't hatch and the projects we've fallen behind on and look at what can happen as a result of a bad season. So for me here at Urban Constrictors, I have some hard hitting males growing up. So when, when we look at the pioneers of this industry, like Justin Kabelka, Ozzy Boyds, people like that, you see that, you see that uh, trends and waves go uh, and basically follow them along. So with the sort of like Batmans, everyone was trying to make Batmans, so many have made them, I've made them. Then, then the red strike comes out and, and things like that and, and Gene X and things like that. So I may have missed some more spot nose clam combinations. I may have missed some dream sickle uh, combinations. I may have missed, uh, well, I've got a chance of hitting this one, so I'm not gonna say that one. Um, and I've got some clutches coming up. But there's so many things I've missed, but if all my 56 breeding females of last year, there's more this year, come, there's more for 2020, but if every, 50, every single one of them 56 females would have led, what would be the chance of all 56 late in the next year? It would be slim, let's face it. It would be far less chance of any female that laid in 2019 to lay in 2020. So now my black pastel red stripe head clown is coming out uh, of basically conditioning. My um, cypress leopard head clown, oh my gosh. That's going to be one of my absolute... Uh, dream come true project if I hatch a cypress leopard at blah 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 clown it could be because I haven't decided is he going to the orange dream clown is he going to the soufflé leopard clown is he going to probably another pastel leopard clown because 
I don't, I'm not necessarily aiming to hit Super Leopard Clowns because there's visually not much difference. So I, I, I don't necessarily uh, want to go for that project. But there's so many hard hitters coming up, coming up. And in the video, there's some females as well. So they're going to be the 2021 season. So when you look at the bad season, flip it on its head. Say bollocks here. You, that one's gone. It's done. Let's focus on 2020. Let's smash the 2020 season. And let's see what we all hatch as a result of not hatching from the following year. So if now you're thinking, well, what have I got coming up? And the answer is nothing. Act fast. Get them, get them males, them killer males from whoever you choose to buy from, you know. We all have our go-to guys who are trusted, have good clean collections and things like that. Get in touch with them. I've let some of my powerhouse uh, snakes that have paved the way for me. They really have paved the way. If it wasn't for them, I think Urban Constrictors would not be in the position it's in. It would be not as... Um, well known let's say I'm no Justin Kabelka but I'm very well known in, in the United Kingdom uh, for quality of snakes and things like that so if you're thinking to yourself well actually I am I haven't bought anything now's the time to do it uh, contact all these good breeders see if they're letting any of their uh, powerhouse uh, males go because we we're all in levels and some are behind me, so my sort of powerhouse males that are not good for this season, for me, are perfect for you. And then there's people above me that I'm asking, and then there's people above them that they're asking, and so on and so forth. So there's levels to the game. It doesn't matter if your dream is to hatch a bumblebee, but if, you, but if you're thinking to yourself, well, I've only got a normal male and a spider female, it's time to find that male pastel, adult male pastel that can go to your adult female spider to make them bumblebees. And then the next bracket up might be looking for some heck clowns, and the next bracket up may be looking for some visual clowns, then the next bracket up, double recessives and things like that. So bad seasons can result in, the, in a far better season than next season. So if, like me, you got a little bit down in the dumps thinking there's so many things I've fallen behind on, as long as you've got them killer males up and coming to hit hard, you should be just fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, I look forward to seeing you next week, I'll talk to you soon, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it two thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you at the IHS show if you're going on Sunday. Cheers guys.